Hello everybody, this is Petey from Bergen Arcade at BergenArcade.net and here we are back with another video for our item system. So let's go ahead and open up the item system, see where we left off. And we're still creating items out to the database. And looks like all we have left is the icon. Now originally I was planning on actually doing the icon like we did with the, the quality database. But I think I'm actually just going to go ahead and make it an object field just to make things a little quick, we have already gone over on how to add the icon itself. So it's basically cut and paste what code you want to use. Now that's only one line of code, so we can hurry up and jump in and start creating our list today. So let's go ahead and we'll close this down. Now there has been a bug apparently with the latest version of Unity, which is 5.1 F3, I believe, where if you leave the editor docked and you close down Unity, uh, when you go to open Unity up the next time well at least when you go to open up this project the next time it'll crash so just be careful not to dock it for now until the update unity so let's go ahead we're going to go ahead and open up some scripts here uh we'll come down to the editor system we don't need any of that should be writing scripts here we're going to need to open up two of them uh one is the weapon script this is the one we've been working on let me go ahead and make this bigger and prefab right down here so here's the line of code we're going to need to copy so i'm actually going to grab that right now I do want to come up to the top. I'm pretty sure we're adding the icon as part of the object, and it is. So we'll come back in and grab the basic object. And come up to the top here, and icon right there. So we'll come down here. I'm just going to do like I did before. Put a little comment here to be moved to a uh, well, the editor version of this class. Now there's going to be other things that we move as well. Basically the class that we have exposed to our game versus the class we're going to be using in the editor is going to be a little bit different simply because there's a lot of stuff that we have included in the scripts that we don't actually need in game itself. But we're going to be jumping to that pretty soon. After we get the list going, I want to start going ahead and actually spawning stuff in game before we jump into the other editors because the other editors are just basically rinse and repeat. So I'm going to go ahead and paste this in. But before I do that, let's actually make a new method. And this was in on GUI, right? Let me quickly come down here again. Uh, initially on on GUI, and we're displaying the prefab there. So I just need a method that says display the icon. And to be honest, I'm going to copy paste this whole thing. And we'll, we'll move it, but we'll just type it all in here. Display icon, then we're going to say icon is equal to icon for the label. The variable will be icon. Now we're going to get errors here because it's not protected. Uh, we have it set as private in the the other script. But that's fine, because like I said, we're going to be moving it. That works great. So when we come up here where we're displaying the icon, well, let's get it moved first. Save, save that off. And it, oh, it's right here. Display icon. We actually did have it. It's been a while since I've looked at this script. And then we actually have the line up there. Sorry about that. It has been a busy week. All right, so. This is the code here we're going to be replacing. And we save that off. I have to get used to all the fancy colors in Modern Develop versus Visual Studio again. Looks like everything's okay. So let's go ahead. We'll jump back into Unity. And we have an error. And we forgot to change the conversion type. Sprite and Sprite. We'll go back in. The error is gone. We'll go ahead. We'll start this bad boy back up. And we should float this to the other side, or at least, well, we can format it later. It'd be kind of nice to have like the name and basic stats over here, and then have this completely separate. Well, let's go ahead. We're going to select uh, an, a sprite this time. And there we go. You now have two ways of displaying a sprite with, uh, with your editors. And personally, I like this one better, but the other one does show you how to go ahead and grab something that isn't of type sprite and convert it. But from here on out, we're going to be using this format here. It just looks better and it's, it's a lot less work. So let's close this down. I'm going to go ahead and jump into a new editor script. And we're going to go into this in here and let's start working on this list view. Maybe. <laughs> uh, did not open for some reason. Let's go ahead. We'll jump back in. List view. Ah, oh, I guess it did open. I just didn't realize we had code in it. Alrighty. Okay, so we're going to come in. Um, so we already have our scroll view set up. Uh, we have a little label set up here. We're going to get rid of the label. We'll work under the label for now, just so that we keep that area open and we know where exactly everything is. 
All right, so I guess the first thing we're gonna do is wanna create a for loop, just so we can iterate through all of the items in our database. And I just wanna make sure I actually do have some already. Uh, open database, I do. Shrink these down, because I don't care what's, oh, actually, these don't have icon. Well, the icons are set to null. That's fine. Setting them to null is fine. All right, so let's go ahead. Jump back in, make our for loop. And I like to use zero as my counter, default counter. Now, are we grabbing the weapon database here? Well, let's go ahead, open that up in the editor object right here, the editor. And we are grabbing it, we're just calling it database. So that's what we need. So database dot count. And of course, increase that counter. All right. Now there's only a couple things I want to display for the list view. If we go back in and take a look here. I want to have the name displayed. And well, for now, let's just work on that. Let's just do the name. I know later on I'm going to want a way to delete it. So I usually put a little delete button or something like that in there as well. But for now, let's go ahead. We'll just display all the names of the items we have in here. So we can just set that up with a, a label. So editor, GUI, layout dot label. And we don't actually have the editor class in here yet. So let's go ahead, we'll add that. So adding the Unity editor. I should get rid of our errors down here. Yep, there we go. And for the label, we're just gonna go ahead and I spell it wrong, it looks right to me. Is it label field? Yeah, it's label field. And if we go through, I think it's the second one we want. Ah uh, yeah, that just shows the label itself. So we're gonna go ahead and just put the string there, which will be the name. So database dot get. And should take an int. We'll put in our counter. And before we do that, I don't like the space there. We're going to get rid of that. And we'll just grab the name. We'll go ahead and that line off. And we see everything, parentheses all match up. Let's go ahead. We'll jump back in. And let's see how it works. There we go. We've got the names. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that list view now. And we're getting our names, but you can't actually do anything with them. So I want to make them clickable. So I'm going to make them buttons. But I'm going to go ahead and make them a box style so they don't look like our traditional buttons. And I'm not sure why it's trying to scroll over. None of the names are long enough, but we'll deal with that after. I think it's because we have the width set too wide maybe for these. I will go ahead and play with that after. First, I want to go ahead and switch these over to buttons. So I'm just going to go ahead and work right above the the actual label field itself. So before I add any functionality to the button, I'm actually just gonna go ahead and just do basic buttons. So we'll go ahead, GUI layout dot button. No button here. Uh, it has been a while since I've played around with this, this script. So we'll do a GUI layout then. There we go. And again, I just want the name. So it looks like number two is the one we want. And instead of typing it all out, I'm just going to go ahead and copy paste. Actually, we'll cut paste. And that line, go there. I'm going to put a comma here and then in parentheses for the style. I'm just going to say box. Well, I'll show both ways for you. Default way. Come in a little refresh. There we go. That also gets rid of the fact that it was too wide. But again, I don't want it to look that way. That's you can actually go in and make your whole different style using GUI skins and whatnot. I don't want to get that deep into it. I just want a nice flat look. And the box style, which is built in automatically, gives that to me. Let it refresh. There we go. Now, we are going to want to set it so that it's um, a default width, just to keep all these boxes the same. So we could add a bit of padding on each side. So let's go ahead and do that now. Uh, I'm going to go, I guess, put it up here. Actually, since this is the only place we're going to be using it, we don't really need to make a separate one for it. We can go ahead and just put it here. So GUI content. Well, we don't even have to do GUI content. We can just do GUI layout dot width. And how wide is this by default? Or well, surely I made a width somewhere. Uh, list view width set up here. It is 200. So I guess we will go ahead and make a variable here as well. Just keep it all up here. Uh, we're going to say list view button and I'll say 150 and of course we can just copy paste that here and I want to adjust the height as well so int old copy paste this well 
let's add width here. All right, and then we can copy paste it and just change it to height. And I can't remember what the default is. Uh, I'm gonna say 25, nope, 25. And I'll come down here and add that in as well. So GUI layout dot height, come on. And we'll go with the list. Score. Come on, it's not displaying it. Okay, I've got a typo somewhere and it's just not telling me or is it just mono develop being mono develop? We'll find out in a second. All right, so we'll go ahead, we'll save that off. Let's go the right way. Not getting any errors. There we go. Just mono develop being mono develop. All right, so we've gone ahead and got it shown the right way. I am going to put another button beside it over here, like I said, for the delete button. Now, I know some people don't like having the delete button up here. I just want to show you the functionality of the delete button. We could go ahead and have uh, maybe a delete button down here, in which case you would select it. Or even better yet, have you when you select it, it goes ahead and puts it over here uh, in your editor view. And then that's where you'd uh, actually go ahead and delete it. That would probably be better. But for now, I want to get the functionality of the delete in there. Or do I? Do I want it to have it be in the editor view? I think I actually like it better over in the editor view. So we'd have three buttons. We'd have the, when you make your edits, uh, you could save it, which would you know save your edits. You could cancel, which would just get out of there and not save your edits. And a delete button, which would actually just delete the item from the list itself. A little bit safer that way. All right, so that's what we'll do. So that means we can actually go ahead and expand this to almost the full width. Let's go ahead and make it 190 and we might want some padding just to center it. Wait for it to update. I did save, right? Did I forget to save? No, it's saved. It's 200 by default. Hmm. Why is it not updating? Let's go ahead. We'll reopen. There we go. Reopening it actually adjusted. Probably because I didn't have a repaint call. Uh, that's pretty good. We could move it over. I'm going to move it over. Uh, we're not going to worry about it. I'm not, I don't want to get that angle about playing around with it centering. So there we go. We've got the list going. Of course, if we create a new one, just to double check here. Let's go ahead and make a, um, I don't know, a club. Do we have a club up there? We do not have a club. So we'll go ahead and make a club. I'm not going to bother screwing with any of the values. I'm just going to go ahead and hit save. And there it goes. Now, I guess while I'm here, I want to go over, well, do I want sorting? No, I do. I'm going to quickly write that down. For those who follow my blog on the website, I actually have posted a script up there that would allow you to sort this. And we're going to integrate that in. But right now, I don't want to do that. I want to focus on getting the list. And then we can hurry up and start spotting stuff in game. So let's jump back into our script. Actually, we're already over our 10 minute mark. So I'm going to go ahead and save this in here. And tomorrow when we come back, let's go ahead and start setting up our scene. So we can have a little button and start spotting these things in game themselves. And of course, if you like these videos and you want to see more of them, you know what to do, right? Go ahead, hit that thumbs up button. Go ahead, leave me a comment down below on how you like how the series is going so far. Maybe there's a few things you want to see added to the series. Go ahead, let me know down below. I may or may not add them. And of course, make sure you share this video on your social media network so everyone can see what's happening and it helps the, the channel grow. Thanks a lot, everyone. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.